Brayden is our 10-year-old son. We are here because he had a wish to hunt bugs. Oh wow, did you see that grasshopper? Oh, you got him. <laughs> Raiden was diagnosed with a condition called the Shen muscular dystrophy. He was seven years old, and he's now 10. And so he qualified for Make-A-Wish because Duchenne um, does not have a cure. So it is a muscle-wasting condition that um, more than likely will take his life earlier than later. He'll say, I started hunting bugs when I was three and my mom and dad thought it was a phase, but it's never gone away. <laughs> That's usually always what he tells somebody. So this is just like a street. This is like a city street. Yeah. And if you follow it long enough, it'll connect with another city street and then it turns into a highway and it gets even bigger. When we got the itinerary, he looked at it and I read it through to him and he said, mom, this is better than Disneyland. <laughs> so for him, this is Disneyland for him. <laughs> yeah, the dream come true is for him to spend time with uh, entomologists, yeah. people who do what he loves to do. What is it about the rainforest that you're in? Um, it's because of all the bugs. All the bugs. I've never seen anything like that. Look at those antennae, see? See that kind of like the oh. two-prong thing? We took him to the Entomology Society of America, and that's when we met Mr. Torres. And Mr. Torres sat down with Brayden and started showing him pictures off of his phone. And it was pretty magical. When we were all done, Phil stood up and said, I will help you do whatever you need to get this little guy to wherever he needs to go or wants to go. And I said, okay. Is that cool? For Make-A-Wish to listen to Brayden's wish as incredible as it is, as out of the ordinary as it is, is really astounding. It speaks to the type of people that are involved.